Greetings viewers. Due to unforeseen circumstances, some videos from our coverage of PAX Unplugged 2019 will experience a greater amount of background noise than others. We apologize for this inconvenience. Please enjoy our PAX Unplugged 2019 coverage. Notice, the following is live footage from a convention setting. There may be offensive background audio or video. As always, thank you for your support. Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... Hey viewers, Dave here for Snappy Turtle Comics and Gallery. Snappy Turtle Gallery is your go-to destination for geeky, nerdy prints, and each is just $5. With over 600 prints and growing, you're sure to find something you'll love. Go to SnappyTurtleGallery.com today and get yours. I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at MetalheadMinis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at MetalheadMinis.com. Thanks for having me. And by viewers like you. Well, I, I have to, I, I want to add that my English is not quite good. Valesho uh, <laughs> is a Spanish company founded, founded in the 70s. It was actually founded in New Jersey. Uh, my father, they were living here. Uh, my father is Spanish, my mother uh, was Dutch. But they came to the United States and they, they have been here for around five years and they decided to move to Spain in the 70s. So actually, Malaysia was founded in New Jersey, the country of New Jersey, in 1967. So it just, uh, how do you say that? Like, uh, I don't know in English what would be the right word. It's like a, like a small history. Yeah, how you were founded and where you guys started. And yeah, she's, she's she says, your lineage basically started in New Jersey. She says that uh, all my moved to Spain and you've basically grown from there. Well, the uh, family on that company, my father was very clever on the 70s to start producing a really quite basic paints. We started with fine arts uh, paints in 1973 with acrylic artist colors. And later in the 90s, uh, we started uh, producing acrylic paint for hobby. In the later 80s, there were some Spanish uh, figure producers that they were using uh, colors that we already formulated for cartoons. And they started using acrylic paint over uh, metal figures. Uh, at those times, uh, people, they were painting figures with enamels or oils. It was not popular to import basic acrylic paint with figures. So in the 90s, we started with a small range of uh, water basic acrylic for homing. And since then, we have been expanding from the 90s up to 220 with a, how do you say that, uh, with a very big range of different acrylic colors for all hobby purposes. Yeah, that's all you guys have uh, from uh, white metallics to dark metallics to uh, Pretty much, you guys can cover the entire color from the whitest of purples to the, the whitest of yellows, you know, from dark to, uh, to dark to light, and everything in between for shading, highlighting, uh, just base coloring, just do everything. Well, this is our, our, our goal is to try uh, to produce uh, the best acrylic paints for hobby. And this is something that I think we are we are considering. If not the best, one of the best uh, acrylic paint brands for hobby. And uh, 
what we want is that any kind of customer, any kind of fan of acrylic painting of the minis, uh, he can find in the Valencia catalog what he needs. Yeah, your catalog covers the, the, the different color palettes from yellow to red, to red to silver, to gold, covers everything. Uh, you also list in the catalog if you get the colors for those specific colors. Yes. I will also, you can grab a catalog right now after the, the interview. And again, I'm sorry because maybe my English is not quite good. Uh, we do paint for plastic kits. For people that they do World War II and World War I, World War III, World, so World, World, website. World War III is a dystopic war, it's not really so bad. But we keep in the catalog a kind of balance between regular historical uh, plastic kit fans that they paint World War II uh, flames and hands. And we also have uh, a range of colors that is developed only for minutes. Uh, and in between, there is a mix of weathering effects, diorama effects, uh, metal color for the people that they do play, game color for the people that they that they play with the minis, like this kind of thing. When we develop game color, we modify the binder because uh, it was also in the 2000 people that they were playing with the, with the figure. It over, needs to be oil resistant. Yeah, it has to be oil resistant and a little bit scratch resistant. Mm -hmm. So each formula in Vallejo has its own purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, each, uh, each one, you know, if you're painting like a, a model airplane, a model tank, a model car, it's going to be sitting on a shelf and it's not going to be painted as much. You know, it, it, it needs to get the purpose done to show the, the detail, the design. And then your game color, your game washes, your whole paints and everything are to withstand being constantly being moved around a lot so that it's not as watery or as oil as some of the other designs can be. I'm very happy because you mentioned a lot of different things that we produce, so thank you for that. Uh, well, it's for me. Uh, has been uh, tested for uh, in order to receive five years of shell life. For paints, they last for around ten years, which is a lot longer than a lot of the other paints that are now in the world. Uh, well, we do produce by yourself. There are several companies out there that they have their own brand paint that they do not produce anything by themselves. They just buy all paint. They fill it into their in their facilities. Sometimes it's a third party that fills the paint. So the difference between Valencia and the other companies is that Valencia, from the beginning to the end, controls the whole process. We have three chemists in our timers, ID or research development uh, area. We, we, we have 50 people in the factory producing paint all the day. Uh, we have, uh, how do you say that? I was born into colors. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, and, and the know-how that we get from colors, it's very high compared, compared to other brands that you can, you can buy at work. Yes. Yeah. But they are all good. Everyone has a color that love from other brands. Everyone has a, a kind of uh, painting style that he's most used to paint with. Everyone has their own style. Well, uh, people sometimes they love, I know that they love for color, but sometimes they prefer to use other ones because uh, they are more used to all this kind of shape. It's a special and that does not happen. Yeah, you guys have a, a place that your, your color palettes are so vast compared to other ones that do just the primaries and some in between colors. You guys cover everything from eggshell white to big blue. So you need that, that different little pink color to bring out the highlight of like a, a white robe or to add uh, like snowflakes to something. Or in the case of some of the models that we made here uh, in real time, you know, adding the white dots to the mushrooms and stuff like that, you're, you're going to put a couple of different colors of white on there, not just white. In real life, nothing is just white color. Well, 
But uh, if you are used to finance stuff, uh, you can also mix uh, by using several colors. Yes. You can extend your own. But we are arriving to the time that if you do that and you, you try to apply the color again, you, you will not get the same tone because the mix is not going to be exactly what you did. That. So, uh, offering uh, a big assortment of colors, sometimes it's a headache for a producer, <laughs> it's a headache for a retailer, but it's something that the people that they buy the paint, uh, they know that they can go to the rack. And it's going to be very difficult that they don't find the exact color in the combination. So that's why sometimes, okay, it's a huge range. But you got everything. And we are always having demand of releasing new colors, new colors in the palette. It's also Ballet Shop. It's not a company that changed the color uh, several times. In the sense that what we begin with, we start with in 1992, it's still available in 220. So the same color has been there for around 20 years. We do not switch, we do not change the whole color panel from, from one to other. And we say to the people, okay, you want this color, then it's no longer in production. I'm sorry for that. Uh, these are the new colors. If you like it, okay, but if not, uh, we don't want customers to upset. We grant our products, doesn't matter how, doesn't matter when they were manufactured. Uh, if something goes wrong, we face the problem. Because it's a family owned company. If we are here today, it's because of all of you. Because you paint finish. And you sometimes, and I hope very often, use Malaysia products. A good chunk of uh, my painting colors, I said, was from uh, the flexible paint sets that you guys were released, which were for the Soviet Union, Germans, British, the Allies, which were a lot of greens, blacks, browns, reds, whites, uh, tans, and pretty much everything in between. And the, the second I used them, you know, getting the amount that I needed to, to use, I said, I'm hoping to paint high. Letting it basically have it open, continuously let it air dry, and basically not be what it was the second I bought it was was, was groundbreaking to me because I can just squeeze out a little bit, use that, and I still have the remainder of what you guys made to use later on, and not worry about how I need to replace this color and see them later. And I love the range of colors in a sense. But, uh, when we reviewed the range in 1992, we chose this bottom because we knew that some other kind of bottoms paint dry very fast. Yes, they do. And they are not real safe. Uh, happening with the enamel. Yes, enamel dry out very fast. Happening also with uh, solvent-based acrylics. That it's something very weird, but very yeah, popular in the market. Yeah, the some of the solvents would, um, would uh, air dry uh, within the paint and become solvent gas. Yeah, I, I've seen that. Uh, in some of the older paints that my dad has uh, that go back to like the early Arthur uh, ones and uh, some of the earlier test and stuff that they were putting out. So the, the fact that you guys found a formula that pretty much well, it's, it's in the in the Valencia uh, culture. If we produce something, uh, it has to last at least five years. So, uh, if we know that, because when we develop a new range. Uh, we choose the colors we want, but all the formulas, all the prototypes of the different formulas, they go to a, to a special uh, 
aging process uh, in a kind of industrial or chemical oven. oven. And from then we have to wait for around four to five months before we know that the paint formula is stable. Of course we check it every week in order to see how it paint formula is that it's not too oily, not too oily, of course it's mixing correctly, you know, all the stuff that goes into the basic chemistry. Like a freezing and going also test. We will also do that in order that uh, the colors at least they receive between three to five freezing cycles. And the boat was uh, in 1992, where we were looking to the different models that we had uh, from, from, from the assortment that we to produce other colors that they are not only from. Uh, this bottle was chosen because it was very good. Uh, allow us the, paint, uh, the painter to just drop what he needs in order to open the whole jar, and it also become like a kind of a standard in the industry because uh, from now on, from 1992 up to today, there are several paint companies or several brands. That they are, they are not producing, but they are uh, distributing the products in the same model of variation. Yeah, uh, but this is because it was the right decision. Yep, uh, Reaper Paint uses the exact same models as well. Yeah, so, they're, they're yes, they are very similar to, to you guys. You guys still have the, the broader, like, uh, wider range of colors than they do. Uh, I know that with uh, them rebranding and doing the newer uh, shades and for series colors and stuff, they're trying to catch up to you guys, but they're still not. Uh, well, the know-how of producing colors uh, is very important. Uh, when a company as Valencia has been in the market for about 50 years, doing the same, uh, the knowledge that we achieve Far away, compared to other people that they do not control the production and they just run. Yeah. Uh, but what I want to mean is that we know what we do and we know why we do. Right. Uh, the purpose of the paint, we all know. Uh, if this is going to be a paint, if this is for painting uh, minis. If they are going to be a static, if they are going to be a dynamic figure that they have to be in the round, in the top game, uh, formulation has to be very different, and uh, all the knowledge that we have, all the background that we achieve, it's, uh, how do you say that, it's, it's helping us a lot. It's also a very good <laughs> What else? Uh,
much. Thank you very much for all the people who follow me and thank you very much for the interview. I have to recognize this is the second interview that I uh, already made. I'm not used to go uh, to these uh, social media. I'm not used to it. Uh, and thank you very much uh, for thinking that interviewing Malaysia is something interesting for your people. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.